Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Road Support. I'm just going to take you through the theme options available in Rose for WordPress. So at this point, we've installed the theme, as you can see, um, we've imported the demo content, and we're just going to take a quick glance around all the options available and see exactly what controls you've got. So to begin with, we go to the options area, which is under appearance and customize. And we'll start at the top. Uh, we've covered this in the last video, which is the import demo data section. We don't need that now, but basically what this does is just allow you to grab all of the demo data and, uh, well, yeah, away you go. Uh, next up, you can uh, change your logo. Um, obviously, we can replace the one we've got here, um, or if I just quickly get rid of that, uh, we can get rid of the tagline, uh, which I think looks quite neat. Um, next up in the header, uh, we've got various options for what we want to show over here. So do we want to show the search area? Uh, we can obviously get rid of that if needed. Uh, do you want to show the sharing? Well, the app or no, that's entirely up to you. Uh, if you've got any social networks you'd like to display here, you can set them up as well. You see as we pop them in, they'll just pop up up there. Uh, next up, this is a default WordPress one, so nothing really to do with our theme specifically, but this is where you set up the title and tagline, uh, and what they strangely call the site icon, which is the, the favicon, whatever you want to call it, the bit that basically appears at the top of your browser. Uh, next up, we've got the blog layout, and that, this will basically control um, how you want your blog areas to, to display. And we've got quite a few to choose from, so we can just flip these over. We've got masonry blog there, which is got rid of the sidebar. Uh, we can have a grid with no sidebar. And basically, there's, there's a whole load of different options here, just to cover all the different eventualities. So it's very, very flexible and uh, well, very neat, as I'm sure you'll agree. Just pop that back to grid blog, which I quite like. Right, uh, next up, we can choose what we want to do with the slider here. Um, so at the moment, we've got that set to a nice little carousel, but we can have a box slider. We can have a lovely full weight slider. No, oh, we can have no slider at all. Entirely up to you. Uh, then just below that, you've got the intro text, which is this. Um, blurb here. Uh, again, completely optional. You can get rid of it if you don't want it. Uh, if you do want it and perhaps you want to maybe take someone to a certain page afterwards. Uh, button. Just give the button a label and the URL. And there we go. Straight away it just pops in there. Or if you want, you can just get rid of it and have none of it. Really up to you. Uh, next up, the promo boxes. It might not necessarily be that obvious because they are deactivated by default, but this is pretty cool. Uh, if you've got some areas or pages or something, um, in fact, you would have seen this in the demo, but if you've got some particular area that you want to highlight, then you can use this promo box area here. There you go. And you can see there's a little one popped up there. We can essentially highlight these. Um, however you want really uh, click me in the URL so you've got three boxes that you can use if you want and these again are the, as the name suggests they're just uh, something you can use to highlight certain areas of your site um, if you wanted to take them to say maybe a page about your services or, or whatever it's up to you uh, then below here this is where you can really start to take control of things uh, and this is the highlight uh, sorry the color area um, you can pretty much take control of, of anything you would want here. Um, I'm just going to go crazy and just set up some mental colours just to kind of give you an idea. So yeah, I mean if you really want to you can start going absolutely nuts with all these but uh, we've given you the options, it's up to you how you want to use them. Uh, the key part, in fact this is quite good, the key here, um, what's quite unique, is uh, for each of your categories in your blog, you can assign a certain uh, color. Um, now, what that means is, let's say we've got this one here, which is just lifestyle. 
which you can see there in this box. So if we want lifestyle to have its own particular colour, we can do that. There you go, you see, with absolutely no problem at all. Very neat. I think. And again, for all of them, really. So again, if you want uh, your advice or whatever, you know, whatever categories you've got, you can give them a, a unique colour to kind of make them a bit more uniform around the whole site. Uh, anyway, that looks a bit weird. I'm just going to exit. Okay, next up, I've got the background image. And this is a default WordPress thing, but we've taken it up a notch with Roast. So what we can do if we decide to add a background image and I'm just going to hit save tentatively uh, because the colour scheme I've chosen looks kind of horrible uh, yeah what you can see although I've chosen a particularly great picture to show this off but you can see there we've got a, a little background image that appears so as soon as you actually add a background image the page will squeeze in a little bit and it will also allow you to see a bit of that background image in full effect so uh, I think it looks pretty great um, obviously if you don't want any of that you can simply remove the image and everything will, will fan back out for you and then next up we've got a couple of default WordPress area uh, WordPress ones for setting up your menu and widgets. Uh, here you can set up a static front page, but obviously this is a blogging thing, so that's not really needed. Um, and towards the bottom you've got the Instagram settings. This is where you will uh, put in your particular Instagram code, uh, as well as the username of the um, feed you wish to display. And then if you want to change the copyright notice at the bottom, or sorry, add a copyright notice, you can do so here. So you can see as we pop that in, there we go, we've got a little message appear down there. And finally, if you're a bit of a developer or a web designer and you want to start taking very uh, bespoke control of the CSS, you can do so here by adding your own custom CSS. Okay, so that's uh, an options overview for Rose. I hope this video has been useful and thanks very much for watching.